Hello Year 6 and welcome to our science lesson number 3, looking at the cardiovascular system. I hope you enjoyed measuring your heart rate in the last video and that you all found that you had a healthy pulse rate. Okay, so today we're continuing to look at the cardiovascular system and our learning intention is to be able to describe the ways in which nutrients and water are transported within humans. So, the human cardiovascular system has a number of components, parts. These include the heart, which is the pump, the lungs for oxygen supply, and a network of branching blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries, which allow blood to reach every part of the body. The blood itself is a vehicle for the transport of dissolved oxygen and food substances, and of the waste products of metabolism. So another word for of metabolism is the breakdown of food and its transformation into energy okay so very important okay cardio in fact means heart and vascular refers to the blood vessels all of which are very important components the heart pumps oxygenated blood to the whole of your body because every living cell in your body requires oxygen in order to work Okay, so let's have a closer look at what blood is made up of. So blood contains plasma, which is a straw coloured liquid, straw as in um, like a sort of goldy colour. Um, we saw that in France, those of you who came to France, the goats were eating straw and you would have seen that it's golden kind of colour, yellow colour. So um, plasma transports dissolved food, glucose, sugar, fatty acid and amino acids and mineral salts and waste products like carbon dioxide and urea as well as hormones and plasma also contains antibodies um, which fight off um, viruses and also it contains protein used in clotting so if you cut yourself it would help to form a scab um, in your blood is also red blood cells and they are shaped like flattened discs and they transport oxygen in liquid in the blood around the body now, I would definitely recommend that you check out this link. If you copy and paste the link below, it's a very useful video about the day in the life of a red blood cell and what a red blood cell does within your body. It's very um, interesting and informative video, so definitely watch that. Also in your blood, there are white blood cells that are made up of two types. There are those that kill bacteria by engulfing them, sort of surrounding them, and those which dissolve into the plasma and kill any invading bacteria, so foreign bodies in your blood. Blood delivers oxygen and essential nutrients to the cells in your body. So taking the energy and the goodness from your food in order for your body to do what it needs to do. Okay, so hopefully you should now understand that the human circulatory system is a group of organs and vessels which transports blood around the body. To recap, there are several different systems in the human body. One of these is the circulatory system, and that is the system that transports blood to all the different parts of the body. Without it, your cells would never receive the oxygen and food they need to function. Your heart is busy beating all the time in order to pump blood through your arteries and keep it in circulation. Once it is dropped off the food and oxygen, the blood is transported back to your heart through your veins. And the lungs are also a part of the circulatory system. Blood is pumped to the lungs where it drops off waste carbon dioxide and picks up fresh, ox fresh oxygen before going around the body again. So let's see how much you can remember by taking our quiz. Good luck. 